This segment of Packer Pokes At was made possible by patrons of the show and viewers like you. Please go to patreon.com slash packetpokeset to help support the show. Thank you. What if there's a really bad, crummy guy who's going to jail, but I know he's innocent? Well, Bart, your Uncle Arthur used to have a saying. Shoot them all and let God sort them out. Unfortunately, <laughs> one day he put his theory into practice. It took 75 federal marshals to bring him down. Now let's never speak of him again. <laughs> 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 True story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Now, we don't speak very positively about religion overall on this show because religion overall is fucking fucked up. However, every once in a great while, every once in a great while, a clock is right twice a day. And this one cardinal, he is right on one point, but then he continues to speak and he completely shoves his foot down his throat. Catholic Cardinal Timothy Dolan, the Archbishop of New York, commented on a that something the president had said recently saying, you know, the president had come out and said, I know you guys are all jumping on ISIS and everything, but, you know, the United States had a kind of a fucked up history at one point, too. Or actually, not just the United States, but Christianity did at one time because, you know, the, the Crusades and things like that. And the Republicans are going, oh, my God, us Christians, we didn't do anything. We, we're, we're, we're perfect. You know, Christianity is perfect. Christianity's never done anything wrong. And that's just total bullshit. And because, you know, people can take any religion to any extreme. It doesn't matter what religion it is. And basically got on there and he's saying, you know, yes, Christians can be just as bad. At one time, we're as bad as ISIS is today. Then, of course, he turns around and he shoves his foot down his throat where he says that even the majority of the temple peace-loving Muslims would say, I'm afraid they have a particular strand of erroneous Islam. But I do think they are. They are distorting it. And then he went on to say, these are not real Muslims. So he's basically, like I said, he shoved his foot down his throat by using the no true Scotsman fallacy. Because there's no such thing as a true Muslim, no such thing as a true Christian. But the whole thing here with this guy is, on this one point, he is correct. On the rest of it, he's not because he opposes the LGBT civil rights movement and people who are gay. So he's right on one point. And I agree with them on that one point. And I, I can agree with somebody. I don't have to agree with everything they say. And this is one of the things I don't agree with them on, obviously. But uh, the point about Christians not being the perfect people that they think they are is exactly that. Joe, your thoughts? Well, he's not a true cardinal. true cardinal wouldn't <laughs> say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, the fact that he's acknowledging the history just shows that, yeah, he knows the history. Yeah. But, um... Uh, to, for him to go on and 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 say that about uh, gay people is just what he's doing. Is he's he's kind of contradicting himself. Like, yeah, he's he's pointing out like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This religion had flaws back in the day, but now we know what's going on, and now we know who to be bigoted against. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So you know, it's like, right, come on, dude, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, you you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I agree with them one point, and that's it. That's the, you know, I'll I give credit where credit's due, but as far as the rest of it, no, n not a chance. Kind of your thoughts. <laughs> well, Dave, you're damned once commented, because I said, you know, broken watches twice, uh, uh, right twice a day, and he said, unless it's a digital watch. Uh, <laughs> 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 <In> which... <laughs> It's <laughs> it flashes the same time all the time. I know. I loved it. It was so. Oh, God. So it's right. It's it, it's right like every other second for a minute twice a day. Uh -huh. <laughs> and digital watches they don't just you know flash twelve. You know this is not the old VCR things. You know they 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 do to keep time just at the wrong time because you haven't set the damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't follow baseball much. Uh, wait, that's not that kind of car cath that kind of cardinal, I guess. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I love I love how he's using uh, Catholicism to oppose LGBT rights, while also you know trying to say, yeah, well, you know, we had our stuff. 
ISIS has their stuff. And uh, when it, when it came to his his uh, stance on LGBT marriage, the cardinal said, "No, we don't take our direction from an opinion poll." But you know, just two just two minutes be- previous in this news brief, he was saying, "I want the moderate Muslims." to go ahead and speak out and tell ISIS that we want you to change. And so uh, so couldn't ISIS then say, well, we are not going to change our stance on our beliefs based on an opinion poll of moderate Muslims. Mm-hmm. I'm like, really? You know, uh, it's, if, is it an opinion poll or is this an open discussion? And, uh, well, I applaud... I applaud the small nod to reasonableness, you know, because the Catholic Church has so much to apologize for. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and all the stuff that they want to cover up. Um, I just go, well, you know, I just don't know why we're asking you about your opinion, right. you know, when it, when it was regarding to political ideas. And yeah. There is so. something, I, I want to read something here from the chat room. Dawkins Zog said, there's nothing ISIS is doing today that Christianity hasn't done in the past. Islam is just a few hundred years behind Christianity. And that's a great analogy, actually, because th- there's this old, car- this cartoon I saw, oh, I don't remember where I saw it, but it was, it had the, the Christianity going crazy, I'm going to kill you because you don't believe my God, or whatever. And then, you know, uh, but, but they kept saying we're the religion of peace or whatever, and then through the years they kind of calmed down, and then you get to the year two thousand, the year the two thousands, and you know the this type of the, this time of the year or you know this decade I guess, and then you got the Muslims coming and say, okay, we're religion of peace, and it's saying, oh crap, I got to go, we got to go through this shit again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Totally. I mean, if you see uh, what ISIS is doing right now, they're smashing historic statues. Yeah. They're bulldozing archaeological <laughs> sites that are 5,000 years old like yes they're they're completely trying to rewrite history so that they can control the future right it, it it's very and, that, and you know what and that's i'm sorry I, as an artist i'm just going to go off on this my art historian professor in college and i was of course back then i was still a christian <laughs> and he was saying that he hated christianity because they destroyed so many of the antiquities Mm-hmm. Of the statues and things and artwork uh, when uh, Rome fell. There's so many things we don't have. And it's because Christianity took over. And he had a, he had a big axe to grind. And I don't, I'm not going to pretend that I know how much of that was done by Christians or how much of it that was done by other powers. But his point is correct. And so when ISIS is doing this, I'm like, oh, my gosh. You know what? Just Mm -hmm. keep your fucking hands off of the artwork because it doesn't mean crap. Yeah. It's it's just – it's religiously it doesn't mean – but it means so much to us to look at this because this is how we understand – we understand history. We understand our past and how we thought and what we we valued. It's – it's like destroying the library of Alexandria. You know, it's it's mm-hmm. it's stupid. Ah, yeah. It's it's the treasure of humanity. Yeah. Yes, it is, and, and we can't replace it. Yeah. No. This exactly. The, there, there was. I saw some footage on this. There were some statues and and artwork that they just barely touched, and it fell apart. And then the other ones, they had to take hammers and drill bits and all kinds of things with them to try to get this stuff to break. You know, and it, it is just plain stupidity. And you're right; we're never going to get this stuff back. This is this no. stuff is gone forever. Think of all the people throughout the the thousands of years who were you know like oh that the the guy or the people who created this artwork, and then you know the, the people throughout the rest of the time up until now say oh let's preserve this, and you know try to keep it around so other people can enjoy it. You know all, all the the painstaking time yeah. to to make sure it's in the right temperature the whole uh no one touches it so you don't get fingerprints on it you know the oils from your hand can destroy uh artwork like that too so well it does make me a little nervous and i hate saying this uh because i'm just i'm superstitious still in some things but um it made me worry about bigger landmarks like the Louvre or things like that if ISIS really wanted to uh, get people upset you know is this what they do you that's know? a good question 
Let's not uh, give them any ideas. Not that they're well, listening to shit. this show. Thank you. <laughs> not shouldn't that, have said not, it. Not, not that they're listening to this show. So. Knocking on wood. <laughs> Related to that is the, the whole debate that went on for the last couple decades about whether or not we should send a lot of antiquities back to the countries they were found in. And the oh, Western okay. museums, like the ones in New York, London, Paris, have a lot of stuff that literally was looted out of the Middle East mm -hmm. back before any of that mattered. And some of these countries have said, like, hey, we want our stuff back. Well, now these same countries are having their museums looted. They're having their archaeological sites bulldozed and, and jackhammered. And it's like, wow, it's a good thing we didn't give any of your stuff back. Yeah, no yes. shit. <laughs> you jerk-offs. <laughs> which, is, which is worse, the fact that we were just, like, offloading their stuff. You know, it, it, who knows what kind of... Uh, I don't know, bargain basement. It, uh, it should prices, go to the people but... who take par care of it better. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I just, like, really? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a huge thing for me this last few days. I've, I'm have i glad you guys brought that up because I was that was what I was thinking. I'm like, I remember my art history teacher going, this is shit. Yeah. Religion, you know, mm -hmm. and ideals or ideas, you know. Ugh. Yeah. They, they drive you crazy. They, they can drive you crazy.